so much for watching HGTV Handmade. It literally seems like just yesterday we were doing back to school DIYs, but today I have a graduation DIY. So before I start, let me just say a huge congratulations to anybody who's graduating this year, whether it's from middle school or high school or college or graduate school or anything in between. So a trend that's been popping up in the last couple of years is decorating your graduation cap. I know that when I graduated from RISD a couple of years ago, all of us art kids had so much fun doing all kinds of designs on our graduation cap, and I ended up putting a 3D version of my Umbrella Cat logo on the top of mine. There's a little throwback Thursday for you. But today I'm going to show you how to make a slightly more universal and really easy graduation cap design. So I bought a graduation cap online and it is such a beautiful blank canvas. Seriously, there are just so many different designs you could make, but I decided to cover mine with stick-on rhinestones. I bought a ton of these online and only ended up using one sheet, so I kind of need to find something else to be dazzle because now I have a lot of leftovers. So my original plan was to cover the cap entirely in rhinestones to make a super blinged out design. But then I realized that the rhinestones came off in rows rather than the entire sheet all at once. So it was going to take forever to cover the entire thing. So instead, I just did an outline of rhinestones all around the edge. And I also used some of the rhinestones to add some bling to my tassel so that it matched. Next, I grabbed these wooden letters and I started spelling out what I wanted the cap to say. The letters come in a huge tub so you can save the rest for another project, or you can share them with friends who are also graduating. And so once I decided what I wanted the cap to say, I moved them onto scrap paper to start painting them white. I did two coats of the white paint, and then once they were dry, I lined the edges with a silver paint pen to give them a little more sparkle. So then I laid out my final cap design. I ended up cutting down a piece of sparkly silver scrapbook paper to fit on top, making sure that I cut a circle in the middle for the circle part in the middle of the cap. So then I used hot glue to glue that down, as well as each of the letters. You only need a bit of glue for each one, and this part of the DIY went really really fast. So once they were all glued down, I just attached my tassel back on, and my DIY graduation cap was complete. So obviously, this is only one potential design that you could do, but I wanted to show you a really easy way to do it. So maybe you'll be inspired to do yours as well, even if you don't go to an art school or you don't consider yourself a crafty person. And if you go on Google Images or Pinterest, you can find tons more inspiration, from using your school colors to shouting out your sorority, to cursing your student loans, to referencing a book or a TV show. So let me know in the comments if you've already graduated, how did you decorate your cap? Or if you haven't graduated yet, how do you think you would do it? Would you do more of a subtle design or would you go all out like art school kids tend to do? So thank you guys so much for tuning in to HGTV Handmade. I think I am all ready to graduate. I don't know what I'm graduating from, I'm done with my schooling. But alright, make sure you press like and subscribe if you liked this video and I will see you all again next week. Bye everyone!